The concept of freedom is deeply embedded in the scriptures. The Bible, time and again, emphasizes the importance of spiritual and personal freedom. Today, we delve into the profound verses from the King James Version that shed light on this very topic. John 8 verse 32 And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth referred to in this verse is the knowledge of God's word and his teachings. When we understand and embrace the truth of the gospel, it liberates us from the chains of sin, deception, and worldly burdens. This freedom is not just physical but spiritual, allowing us to live in peace and righteousness. Galatians 5 verse 1 Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Christ has provided us with the ultimate freedom from sin and its consequences. This verse encourages believers to stand firm in that freedom and not to be ensnared by the old ways or the temptations of the world. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17 Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The presence of the Holy Spirit brings freedom. This freedom is from the weight of sin, guilt, and condemnation. It's a reminder that when we invite the Spirit into our lives, we experience a profound liberation that transcends human understanding. Romans 8 verse 2 For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. This verse highlights the contrast between the old law, which brought condemnation, and the new law of the Spirit, which brings life. Through Christ, we are freed from the penalties of sin and are granted eternal life. Galatians 5 verse 13 For, brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. While we are granted freedom in Christ, this verse reminds us not to misuse this freedom for selfish desires. Instead, we should use our liberty to serve others in love, reflecting the heart of Jesus. James 1 verse 25 But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. True freedom comes from not just hearing God's word, but actively living it out. Those who act on God's teachings find blessings and a deeper sense of liberty in their lives. 1 Peter 2 verse 16 as free and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God. Our freedom should not be an excuse to harm others or act with ill intent. Instead, we should use our freedom to serve God and benefit those around us. Romans 6 verse 18 Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Once we are liberated from the grip of sin, we become servants of righteousness. This transformation allows us to live a life that is pleasing to God and beneficial to ourselves and others. John 8 verse 36 If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Jesus is the ultimate source of true freedom. When he liberates us, our freedom is genuine and complete, not just a temporary or superficial state. Acts 13 verse 39 And by him all that believe are justified from all things from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. This verse emphasizes the limitations of the old law and the expansive freedom and justification that come through faith in Jesus. Believers are freed from the constraints that the law of Moses could not address. Galatians 2 verse 4 And that because of false brethren unawares brought in, who came in privily to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage, we must be vigilant against those who might want to rob us of our freedom in Christ. This verse serves as a warning to protect the liberty we found in Jesus. Psalm 119 verse 45 And I will walk at liberty, for I seek thy precepts. Seeking God's teachings and living by them grants us the freedom to walk in his ways without fear or hindrance. Isaiah 61 verse 1 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. This prophetic verse speaks of the mission of Jesus. 
He came to heal, to free the oppressed, and to proclaim liberty to those in bondage, both physically and spiritually. Luke 4 verse 18 The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Echoing Isaiah, this verse in Luke reiterates Jesus' mission on earth. His purpose was to bring freedom in every sense, spiritual, emotional, and physical. Romans 6 verse 22. But now being made free from sin, and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness, and the end everlasting life. Freedom from sin leads to a life of holiness and ultimately eternal life. This verse emphasizes the beautiful journey and destination of those who embrace the freedom found in Christ. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 22 For he that is called in the Lord being a servant is the Lord's freeman. Likewise also he that is called being free is Christ's servant. In Christ there is a beautiful paradox. Even as we serve him, we find true freedom. And those who are free in worldly terms become devoted servants to Christ. Galatians 4 verse 26 But Jerusalem which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. This verse speaks of the heavenly Jerusalem, a place of ultimate freedom and the spiritual home for all believers. Galatians 4 verse 31 So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. We, as believers, are not bound by the old law or old ways. We are children of freedom, thanks to the sacrifice and love of Jesus. Psalm 146 verse 7 Which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord looseth the prisoners. God is the defender of the oppressed and provider for the needy. He sets the captives free, showcasing his love, justice, and power. Leviticus 25 verse 10 And ye shall hallow the fiftieth year, and proclaim liberty throughout all the land unto all the inhabitants thereof. It shall be a jubilee unto you, and ye shall return every man unto his possession, and ye shall return every man unto his family. The year of jubilee was a time of freedom and restoration. Every fifty years, debts were forgiven, slaves were freed, and properties were returned. This practice was a testament to God's design for periodic renewal and freedom for his people. As you reflect on these verses, may you find solace and strength in the freedom that God offers. If this video has been a blessing to you, please subscribe, like, share, and comment below. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and may his face shine upon you.